So at 6.30 in the morning, the wife came in, got me out of bed, and said that the driver's side window sounds like it, it's broken. So, um, so yeah, so I gotta go out and take a look and see what's up with the window. So let's go check that out. First things first though, I need coffee. That sounds all kinds of crunchy in there. Oh, great. So we'll pull it over to the shop and take the panel off, see what's going on. Sounds like I'm gonna have to be replacing a window. So now the wife just called 10 minutes later. She stopped at the gas station. Uh, she took my Tahoe to work and uh, she stopped at the gas station and put some gas in and got back in. Now the Tahoe won't start. <clears throat> It's a great morning. So I'm going to take the van with the window that's broken. Let's drive in and let's go get her. I'll take her to work, I guess, come back and figure out how to get the Tahoe back home here and fix the window. Yeah, this is a, this is a good morning. Oh yeah, and my little dog over here chewed the shoelaces off my shoes, my work shoes. So there's that too. Yeah. So. Okay. Oh, hey. Did you do this? Did you do this? Huh? Okay, got that fixed. Bummer is I just changed both of these shoelaces because she always... The big game is she loves to take my shoes at night and just throw them around. It's, it's I don't know. She just has a big time with that. Huh? Okay, let's go fix the van. Well, I should be able to push that out of the way. So, I picked up the wife, rescued the wife at the gas station. So now I'm on my way we're gonna go drop her off at work and then come back and see if we can get the Tahoe of course the windows down so you know it's loud because the windows my window. <laughs> windows broke <laughs> we were just laughing about what a morning what a morning this is <laughs> it's okay, though. sorry I guess it could be worse it could be raining don't say that <laughs> Okay, so just dropped the wife off at the office, and now 
Let's head back. I'm just trying to decide whether I want to go back to the gas station. I think what I'm going to do is just head back to the shop and I need more coffee. So I think I'll head back to the shop and get some more coffee and let's take the door panel off and at least see what's going on there because if I've got to replace the window then I can start making some calls and see if I can replace the window. And then I guess go later and see if we can retrieve the Tahoe. I was going to show you all, this is Cascade Park, though. of course it's closed, it used to be an amusement park, but that building over there, that used to be the carousel. The building's still there. I think that's the ballroom, I'm sorry, but the carousel building is still there. They even closed it, but it's there. And all of this down here is Cascade Park. It's kind of cool to go through. And you can drive through, but it's kind of cool to go through because some of the old rides and all of that are still there. Well, not rides, but you know, the pylons and footings and things from the old rides. That's Cascade Park. My wife and I were just laughing coming down that at least we're laughing about it. So there is that. But getting on this highway system here, this is 376 outside of Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And, you know, 7 o'clock or 7.30 in the morning, it's like entering the Thunderdome. I mean, I didn't know there were that many people anxious to get to work, but it's just crazy. I mean, you can be driving 80 miles an hour and they're trying to pass you. It's just ridiculous. Anyways, heading back. I don't think we've ever driven this van with the windows down. It sure is loud. Gosh. Oh, almost back to the shop. So we're only a few miles from the shop, and I've been thinking on the way home about the Tahoe and what's wrong with that. And I think it's a starter. I put a new battery in it, but I think what's happening is the starter's getting hot and you know, I think it just needs replaced. I have another starter. I just haven't had a chance yet to put it in, but uh, yeah. Anybody else have days like this? I'm sure you do. This is a good one. So I jumped on YouTube because I've never done this before. This is a 2010 Chrysler Town & Country and apparently to take the door panel off it's as easy as taking this cover off and there's a screw back behind that cover and there's a little flap here and there's a screw down behind that and that's it and you're supposed to just kind of pull off the uh, get a hold of the door panel and just kind of pull and it should pop so okay well I'll give it a shot okay so that wasn't too bad to take off it really did just take the really was as simple as taking a couple of screws out and just giving the door panel a yank so this is what I have so I took out the switch so I can run it The window seems to be intact. I took the speaker out, but I don't know if it's the, it kind of sounds like it's the window motor itself. So I don't know if the gears just stripped out in it. So I guess I'll take that apart and see what's going on with that.
Right, I think I found the problem. I don't think that's supposed to be that. Great. Well, now we're going in deeper. Huh. Okay, um, so that really wasn't too bad getting that uh, old regulator apart. I went ahead and I've bought the new one online, so all we have to do is run in, pick it up. I grabbed my dad's truck and my dad. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> so, all in all, this shouldn't be too bad. This has been about an hour or so, so far I'm into it. So if I can get this new regulator picked up and get it put in and get it back together, then all in all, this wasn't too bad of a, of a job. So let me uh, run in, we'll grab this, and we'll be back at it. So now all I have to do is run in, pick up the part, and we can head back. Okay, that was easy. I uh, ran in, got the part, picked it up. They had it all ready to go for me. And uh, we're headed back now to the shop and I'll get this regulator put back in. And uh, hopefully this project is gonna come to an end. So I'm back from the auto parts store and I finished taking the panel apart, my interior panel, and I've gone ahead, I've got the replacement window regulator and I went ahead and installed it. Um, wasn't very difficult, just four Torx screws right here and got the new window regulator on. So now I'm ready to button it all back up, put it all back together and hopefully this will work and I can get back to work inside the shop. So that's in place. Now to attach the window, there's two little plastic clips and apparently they just kind of roll down. There's two holes in the glass and they just fit into that and clip in. Um, but before I do that, I want to make sure everything fits and everything goes back together correctly. And I think that's the last thing I need to do is, you know, just kind of put the glass down in place. So I'll get this buttoned up and We'll see if it all works. Fingers crossed. All in all, this hasn't been really too bad. I think the hardest part is gonna be reaching back in and connecting the two rods back in here for the door locks and for your handle, um, but I don't think that's going to be really anything, any big deal. Well, let me go ahead. I'll get this uh, put back together and I'll plug in my switch for the window regulator and just make sure everything is going to fit, make sure our motor is going to fit. And then, you know, I'll get back to you here, you know, when I get further along. How's that? Well, I've got it all back together and I'm so glad I did not clip my window back into, you know, the frame or the regulator because I went to go put the motor back on and it doesn't fit. So the spline in here is too small for this. So there's something wrong. It's the correct part number, but it's not the right window regulator. So it looks like I've got to go back in 
to the auto parts store and replace this. I got to take this all back apart and do it again. What turned out to be maybe an hour's job is turning in to be all day. So, okay, well, we'll run back into the auto parts store. I'll get this all taken back apart and oh, take it all back apart, take that out, and I'll go back into the auto parts store and see if I can get the correct window regulator. So, um, okay, that's where we're at right now. I'm still smiling. Well, it seems like we've done this before, Dad. Now we're heading back in. I take, I've taken out the window regulator that we just bought, and now we're heading back in for a second time to take that one back and hopefully pick up the correct one. So that's where we're at now. So I feel that I'm a pretty patient kind of a guy, but when I have to do a job twice, I get a little bit irritated. Maybe it's Maybe it's me getting a little bit older. I don't know, but well, we'll run in, grab this new regulator, hopefully, and uh, put it back in. So Advanced Auto didn't have it, so we're down here at O'Reilly's now, and I'm gonna run in and see if they have the window regulator so I can go back and take this apart for the second time and hopefully finish this project up. I'm getting a little, <laughs> getting a little irritated at this point. All right, so I'm back again for the second time from the auto parts store. I had to kind of argue a little bit with them, and it turned out they did not have another one in stock. So they had to refund my money, and I ended up going to O'Reilly's, stopped down at O'Reilly's, and they had it in, in stock. It's the same part number, and this one fits. So obviously, I guess somewhere, um, whoever boxed up that regulator put the wrong regulator in the box. So the motor, I got it, you know, installed right so it fit. I've got the panel of your thing, of course, back together for the second time. And I'm ready to drop my glass down and go ahead and clip this back into place. And then hopefully I can go ahead and get this all buttoned back up and... Uh, you know, put this put this little project behind me. And you all thought I just did woodworking, huh? Yeah, that's me. Jack of all trades, master of none. Let's see if I can get this glass in place without shattering it. That'll be the next thing. I think I got it. There. That one's not quite even. There it is. It snapped into place. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. Not sure why it's doing that. Okay, all right, I think I can get this all put back together now and move on to something else. We'll have to look at the Tahoe now and see what's going on with that. 
all in all though, this really wasn't too bad of a job. I, I don't think I'd want to do it again, but if I, I suppose if I had to, I could. It really wasn't. The only hard part, again, was the two rods back in here. You only have this little window and you have to get in and undo them. And it's not that difficult, but it's just kind of, you're doing it blind. But uh, other than that, it really wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Everything just kind of unplugged and unbolted, which was, which was good. Well, so I was able to get the door back together, got the panel back on, the window works. One little incident that I had that I failed to mention, you can see the hood up on the van is, yeah, you guessed it, the second time when I ran back into the auto parts store to switch out the regulator, I left the key on. So yeah, there's that. So when I got back here and I put all of this back together and tried to operate the window, <clears throat> Yeah, the battery was dead. So I was able to put enough of a charge on it, though, to run the window, as you saw, and everything operates. So, you know, we've got it all buttoned back up. As far as the Tahoe goes, we were able to get that back. Uh, it's up at my brother's place. We looked at it, and it turns out it's the alternator. So that's not going to be too bad of a fix. So we'll do that up there. So, uh, yeah, so we can get that all fixed up. It's about three o'clock though, believe it or not. So I started this project somewhere around, what, 7.30, 8 o'clock is when uh, I think I went and picked up my wife and, you know, we had to run her to work. I've got to leave here in about another, well, a couple of hours and go pick her up. But yeah, so it's about three o'clock. So this has taken me all day. We got through it. We got it done. So, 
But hey, I thought you'd get a kick out of this. I thought you'd have fun watching, you know, the day I had today. And uh, even though it was at my expense, you know, I, I am still smiling, believe it or not, throughout all of this. It was kind of tough, but I got through it. But uh, next week, we'll be back in the shop. I promise we'll be building more things. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week.